Hi, I have a sugar skull painting tutorial for you today. Let's get started. I'm using piñata inks for the background colors of the painting. I'll leave the names of the colors I'm using in the description below. When I started this painting, I didn't film the very beginning. The skulls you see here were cut out on my Cricut. And I just placed them randomly on the yuppo paper. So to start, I'm just dropping color onto the paper. And then I'm adding the alcohol to activate it and using my blow dryer to push the liquid all over the paper. And as I go throughout the painting, I'll just keep adding more ink, more alcohol, more blow drying. Just repeat, repeat, repeat. I'll just keep adding it until I cover the entire paper in color. Once that's complete, I remove the vinyl from the, the yuppo paper. And that took a long time. I only recorded a little chunk of it so I wouldn't bore you. Okay, so now it's time to add the details to the skulls and make them officially sugar skulls. This is the best part, I think. Um, I love doodling and I love painting sugar skulls. Well, the alcohol ink was kind of fun too. So I guess it's all fun. <laughs> but this is one of my, my favorite parts. I love adding the details. And I always take my time doing this stuff, so that's why I have everything on time-lapse. Because I go pretty slow. <laughs> I go pretty slow. And I just don't want to mess it up. I want to keep it cute. As I outline the skulls, I start adding, you know, petals and flowers and you'll see swirls and just random whatever comes to my head I'll just start doodling away and making each one unique I always make them different I like for them to have their own characteristics apart from any other skull on the painting some will have mustaches some will have goatees others will have lashes some show teeth some don't so they're always different. I like to keep them fun and happy.
So I'm finished with the details and it's time to mount it on the wood canvas. It's 11 by 14. I'm going to be using the best glue ever as my adhesive to stick the yellow paper onto the canvas. It's a scrapbooking glue. I bought it a long time ago when I used to do nail art. It works really, really good. It'll last you a really long time. You can even dilute it and it's very tacky. So. So I'm using a foam sponge to just rub it all over the place and I'm lining up my apple paper to the board. And I'm gonna let that dry. I'm using Krylon UV resistant spray so that there's no yellowing. I'm gonna also use a triple thick clear glaze from Krylon and I'll finish with a Kmar varnish uh, before I do any resin. So I taped up the edges of the wood panel with the painter's tape and I left the tiny lip on top. And now I'm pouring on the resin. Now I'm using a popsicle stick to push all the resin to all of the edges, all of your corners. Don't miss anything. So now I'm just using my torch to pop all of the air bubbles. There was a lot of them. Then I wait about five hours and I come back and take the painter's tape off of the panel edges. Since it's still tacky and hasn't cured completely yet, it's the best time for me to remove that. Okay, so now we're done. I brought it outside so that y'all can see what it looked like in the daylight. So this was a fun project for me. I really love it. I can't wait to do another one with different colors, maybe blues, purples, magentas in the background. Um, I hope you guys liked the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will return as soon as I can with something new for you to see. Thank you. Bye.